Hey everybody, Sharon here from GameMeAct.com. Here we are today back in the complex doing our fourth playthrough. We are going for the get out of this alive ending slash achievement. This playthrough is going to be just under 20 minutes, so start up a new game and get to using the skip feature. First choice is going to be serious, then the second choice is going to be positive. Then the third choice, which is the last for the prologue, is going to be to save Dima. Once you get that done, you should get to the opening title screen and then the actual game. Once you are in the boardroom, make sure you pick dismiss for our first choice then once the assistant lady comes in you want to go with her right away so pick let's go then when you are at the crime scene make sure you take the drone as the transport in the complex we're going to follow natalie this time and that should kick us right to the next scene when you are in the dressing room make sure you change in the cubicle then once you change into your spacesuits, you want to make sure you pick ignore to stop the conversation with Reese. Then that should send you to the lab. Make sure you pick Reese to open up the crate. After that, you want to make sure you attend to Dr. North when she gets knocked out. When you are trying to treat Reese's wound, make sure you slap him to take the knife out. And then you want to make sure you investigate the noise instead of cleaning out the cut. Then you want to make sure you tell Reese not to hack in once you get that option. And once Claire starts getting her convulsions, make sure you give her the morphine. After that, we are going to answer the phone call. During said phone call, when they are about to hang up, make sure you prevent Emily from hanging up. So do that. And that's going to lead to our escape plan. We're going to choose the crude option, which with the choices that we have so far will result in us falling down and getting the cut. Once you get the flash drive, make sure you look at the picnic first. And then once you finish that up, you should get another call. Make sure you reject this one. And then after that, we are going to have Reese go to the bathroom and Claire give us a little story. Make sure you pick find out more to listen to it. Then when you have to break the toilet, make sure you choose the chemistry option. You should drop a block of potassium in and it should explode. And then we're going to head in to try to find our escape routes. Make sure you drop yourself in. So pick drop Amy and then you should crawl in on inside. And then the one dude from earlier is going to come back to life. And then we're going to get into a little scuffle for your attack. Which one do you want to make sure you kick him? So do that. Then you're going to kick him and then he's going to end up in the hole and then we can move on. So after you beat him up, we are going to be back in the lab and we're going to have another phone call. Make sure you pick refocus everyone to get everyone all settled down. And then you are going to want to go to Claire when she starts getting another set of convulsions. Once you get back to the call, she is going to offer you a deal. Make sure you don't take the deal, so pick no deal. And then we're going to have to take Claire's blood. You want to make sure you pick the positive option. Reese is going to pitch the final plan. Make sure you go along with it by sacrificing him. Then when you are in the elevator with Claire, make sure you pick calming. During the final showdown, make sure you pick the left raise the stakes option. And then for our person, we are going to choose Parker this time. So that's going to play out and eventually that's going to lead into the final choice. Make sure you keep Claire alive on this one and then let the last cutscene play out. Once you get past the last set of credits, you should be good for this ending and achievement. 25 gamer score. Don't forget to check back soon next time for part 5. And that's all there is to it.